working on a glass block shower installation and design can be a difficult thing and you can make a lot of mistakes because most people you're going to come in contact with don't know anything about a glass block or very limited about a glass block shower. So how can you get past that? Well, in this video, I'm going to talk to two glass block shower design experts and I'm going to chime in with a couple ideas of my own to give you some feedback on what you need to look for to make sure you don't make mistakes in a glass block shower design and that you get a project that not only looks cool, but functionally is going to stand the test of time. So hope you enjoy the video. So you want to do the base first. Main reason is blocks are only made in certain sizes and certain shapes. So if you buy a base that has a three inch curb, you're not going to be able to use the block technically because standard block is four inch. What everybody sells these days is three and an eighth. So if you buy a three inch curbed base and you're trying to set a three and an eighth inch block, it's just not a good idea. Best option would be to buy your base and then you can get the block for the base once you get the layouts designed. If I'm being honest, there's a lot of people that think glass blocks are out of style. They're old school. And the reason for that is they see one eight inch by eight inch wavy block on top of another. This wall behind me has six inch by eight inch, but it's still a pretty, I'd say pedestrian type of look. Now, if you want something special, it does not have to be boring. There are metric block that come in close to 50 different patterns. As a matter of fact, on a bathroom visualizer on our site, you can actually see some really cool and modern glass block inside of a room scene. With block, you're not limited to one size, one pattern fits all. Uh, with metric size block, you can get color, you could get different types of pattern in there, color and clear block. When you're going with shape blocks, you can get walls that are curved or L-shaped, uh, or you can even do a mosaic in a glass block wall where you mix up 4x8, 6x6, 6x8, 8x8 block all in a design which creates almost a, a look like stained glass. So glass block does not have to be boring and it does not have to be old school. It can be actually a very contemporary look and it's even being used in places like boutique hotels in New York City. So it's really a material that's on the rise again, but a lot of people don't even recognize it. There's a big problem if you go out and you try to buy a shower pan first, then do the glass block. The reason is most standard shower pans have a curb width. It's maybe two and three quarter inches, maybe three inches wide, but the glass block are three and an eighth inch wide. Another problem with buying a standard pan is if you have an application where you have a curved wall, the curve on the shower pan has to be curved just like the glass block wall. So what I always recommend is you start with beginning with what the design's gonna look like at the end, and then you get a pan to fit the block design. With glass blocks, unfortunately, unlike a tile, you can't cut them. So if a block is a certain size, that's the size it is and you can't change it. So you really wanna begin with the design first, then buy the pan, then buy the prefabricated wall that's gonna fit the pan. A lot of people think, because they see glass block windows that they're silicone joints, that they think building a shower wall in that same way is going to be a good idea, but it is not a good idea. The reason it's not a good idea is that if you silicone a glass block wall together and you were to grab that wall and kind of shake it like this, that wall would have movement and you'd be like, oh wow, is that going to be steady? And it really is not steady. So what we recommend is when you're building a wall, first use a vinyl stack system where there's spacers that go both vertically and horizontally through the wall. Then that wall is anchored. There's an anchor that goes into the vinyl. And then the last step is the wall is field grouted on both the outside and then the inside of the shower. What that's gonna do is that wall is then gonna be firm. It's not gonna come down. As a matter of fact, I've never in the history of this business had a glass block wall come down, except there was a case where a wall came down where a person drove a car through it. You know, cars are off limits, but other than cars, that wall is not gonna come down if you have a grouted wall, not a silicone wall. Masons don't really want to install glass block in the shower. One thing I hear a lot recently is how difficult it is to find a good mason contractor at all to do any job but especially inside of a bathroom one thing that's nice about buying prefab shower walls are they're already built and prefabbed in stacks so you could have just about any contractor come in and stack the glass block walls as long as they know how to grout in between and anchor them into the wall you're you're going to be good to go when you think of the term general contractor you know the first term is general 
So what does that mean? Well, it means they generally do a lot of stuff. And no general contractor can be an expert on every single thing, just like no architect can be an expert on every single part of building a home or building, let's say, a bathroom. So when it comes to glass block, glass block is not the kind of thing that's used on a lot of projects. It's more of a niche type of system. So most general contractors or smart general contractors usually know what they don't know. They may know building, but they say, hey, this is a different type of system. So what smart general contractors do is they usually look for glass block specialty suppliers, people who fabricate glass block walls or create bases and walls and wall panels to give you the whole part of the project. So this way, they know they're gonna get a solution that can be installed by somebody unfamiliar with glass block and you're gonna get an excellent result because it's backed by a team of people who build it and ship it and can be done by anybody on the installation. So a general contractor who doesn't seek out advice on a glass block wall, they may be a dangerous person to work with on a specialty project like this. There's systems where you can get pre-made glass block walls. You can buy a wall that was, you know, designed, pre-made, prefabbed, that has, you know, a vinyl stack system where you can stack it together. So the the curve is already built in. So you're basically following a template and you're you know, running some silicone. Once it's all up and you, know, you get time to tack dry, you just field grout it. There's no way I would try to, to hand lay a curved wall. I could totally understand that conception. I wouldn't try that myself. But the prefab systems make it a lot easier um, in the field where you don't need a specialty company to do it. They're gonna design it, build it, and then you could you know, DIY it on site if you wanted to. Using the thin line glass blocks, which are three and one eighth of an inch, is what I almost always recommend doing, whether it's a window or a glass block shower wall. A lot of glass block used to be made with four inch block. Although seven eighths of an inch may not seem like that much of a difference, it really is. I'm gonna be honest with you here. When somebody calls me, they say, hey Mike, I wanna do a neo angle shower with a glass block wall. I'm like, oh. Not again. I wish I didn't have this kind of a lead. The, re the reality is, it's really a pain in the rear application to do a glass block, and I recommend people don't use it for that application. And why do I do that when I'm in the business of prefabricating these walls and, and, and shipping them around the country? The reason is, one is it's very hard to find the 45 degree angle block that can make that neo angle. The second reason is, even if you do find that, it's very difficult to mount a, a shower door, most neo-angle showers aren't that big, in between the glass block walls. So it's really tough to engineer. The, the block's gonna be a little thicker than you want, probably in a small corner shower. It's very difficult to mount the door. It's a pain in the rear to do. It's gonna be expensive. Other than that, it's a perfect application. Uh, my recommendation is if you got neo-angle, go with a glass, standard glass shower door system, frameless door system, and stay away from the glass block. In a perfect world, every pattern glass block, every color glass block would come in every size you needed and every shape you needed. In the real world, the manufacturers who make these blocks, there's not enough volume for them to make every pattern size and color in every, uh, in every uh, unit you'd want. So to go through and try to figure out what goes with what, what I'd recommend is first contact a glass block specialty a designer. Tell them what you want to do. Tell them the type of block that you like. Then say, okay, what will go with what? You know, where can I use a curved wall? If I have a straight wall, can I use a different color of block or different patterns of block all in the same wall? There's things that you can do that are very unique and creative, but there's things that it's hard to combine, maybe a curved wall with a wall with different sizes and shapes. A glass block designer who really knows their business will be able to help you sift through what you can do and what you can't do. It'll save you a bunch of time and get you on the right path to the look you want at, at hopefully the budget you want as well. I hope you enjoyed watching this video about glass block shower wall design mistakes. The reality is most people don't know a lot about the subject and trying to learn where you could go wrong is probably the most important thing you can do to get a proper installation. To learn even more, I'd recommend to go to innovatebuildingsolutions.com and then go to our glass block shower page. On that page, you'll find blog posts, articles, more videos to give you even deeper insights and you can request the ultimate glass block shower design guide to gain even more insights. In addition, if you want to work with a glass block designer like some of the guys that were on this video today, 
All you need to do is give us a call, 877-668-5888. We'd love to help you and kind of get you through the design and the fabrication, and maybe if you're local, even the installation process. Thanks so much for joining us. Have a great day.